The uh, grant that we were awarded comes from the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs. It is designed to address the shortage of speech language pathologists that are working in the school systems. Our grant had a special emphasis on addressing underserved communities, particularly rural and Appalachian communities here in Kentucky. Uh, the purpose of the grant is to train eight master level clinicians a year, speech language pathologists, uh, in the use of telepractice to be able to provide speech and language services. It's tremendously important, especially for the state of Kentucky. Um, we, have, we are a rural state, and um, under the federal law, schools uh, are required to provide services to children with disabilities. Um, one of the largest segments of those children are those with speech and language disorders. Um, there is, unfortunately, a dearth of clinicians available in certain parts of the state, more rural parts of the state, and yet the districts are required to provide the services. So this is an innovative way to get those services to the districts and to the students, and um, it's being done a little bit more and more across the country, but it will be one of the uh, first actual um, programs in which students are specifically trained to do telepractice. We have designed a curriculum that's very systematic and structured in its implementation. The overall curriculum involves didactic coursework where there's reading and lectures and videos that they watch related not only to telepractice but also to rural culture and Appalachian culture because everything we're teaching them is also going to be affected by external variables which influence the adoption of telepractice, such as the consumer's uh, culture, such as their community's beliefs, such as changing technology. So all of that is going to be wrapped around this didactic coursework. They're also, in addition to that, going to get hands-on experience using telepractice. And we scaffold that in a very systematic manner. I've known since I was a junior in high school that I wanted to be a speech-language pathologist. I wanted to go into this profession because I was really interested in voice and singing. Um, I did that in, gra in high school. And I saw my little sister go through speech therapy, and the two just kind of clicked together. Well, I know that going through this program will really help me learn more about telepractice and how to utilize that and provide quality services. So I hope that I can carry that over um, no matter what my career ends up being, where I end up, that I can use what I'm learning here to serve people um, around the state. The exciting part is to be doing this within a university setting as well. Um, obviously, one of the university's target is research and evidence-based practice. And this is particularly exciting because we know what strategies work with children in a face-to-face -face setting. What we have to find out and, um, and give evidence to support it is that the same strategies that we use can also be used in telepractice or should they be adapted or changed? What's the most effective way to use a strategy with telepractice? And so it will not only give our students training, but it should produce some very good evidence and research that can be used elsewhere in the country.